My name is Pam, and this is your Psychic Tower reading for the month of June 2014. The first card that comes up for you, um, right on top of you, is the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands, um, it's usually, to me, victory um, after a battle or a struggle um, moving forward, and that's what I actually hear for you that um, this is a time of you finding balance, getting things into balance, and moving forward. Okay. You've been going through a lot, and, and kind of are still in it somewhat. You don't have all the answers yet, or, you know, no pun intended, but you don't have all the cards in front of you yet. Um, so you don't have all the answers yet. You're definitely not um, going to come back and do this again. Um, you've been going around in circles about some things. This is a time for you to really be free and let go, let go of a lot of things. You've had, um, I'm hearing you've had a hard time with people bothering you and like annoying you. This could be, it could be in any scenario, Sagittarius, because this is for all the Sagittarians out there. So to pinpoint it, um, you know, some of you that's going to be family. Some of you that's going to be co-workers or bosses that are annoying you. Some of it, it may be your children um, or your parents. It could be a variety of things, but I'm hearing that people have been annoying you. You're, I'm also hearing that you're going to stop some things, like um, break a cycle. You're breaking a kind of a cycle. And I'm hearing uh, you don't like to be bothered with details. Sometimes you just like to do it. You're like an action person. Um, this has hampered you in the past. There are people that have expected things of you, maybe details or finer print about things that you haven't really wanted to do or get. And I, I'm hearing that your your future is bright now and that you can really move forward. So uh, that's good news, Sagittarius. This is definitely a positive uh, a positive card and a positive message right at the beginning here of it. Um, you're ready to move forward with whatever projects have been on your plate that haven't been going anywhere or that you've been wanting to see move forward. They're going to now. Um, Wands is, uh, are cards of, that symbolize, you know, wands symbolize new beginnings, growth, communication. Um, so it might involve some, uh, some of those fields or those situations. And I hear that you've been um, brought to task for a lot of things, where there's been people that have, like held your feet to the fire, so to speak, or, you know, called you to the mat about stuff. So that's kind of interesting. Um, and, and I'm getting that this has been like a problematic time period for you. And I, I feel like your the problematic time actually started maybe in last, since last August. So it's almost a year, whatever you've been going through, um, it seems to have started around that time, it, but they're saying it's ending now with a resounding, you know, doom, <laughs> a resounding end. That's what I get. Um, the card that crosses over you is the Empress. Um, the Empress is often a card of pregnancy, uh, mothering, motherhood, uh, new enterprises, new beginnings, um, starting a new business having a child or a birth in your family, crossing over your victory card. So it's either going to support or conflict it. I, I hear you have a, a Sagittarius generally has a great empathy for others, and they're telling me you've been treated badly, and, I, and I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure, you know, what area specifically, but you feel like you've been treated badly, and my spirit guides are telling me you have been treated badly. So it's not just some, it's just not, not just your perception. Um, so I'm sorry for that. Um, but your first card was victory. So I'm also hearing that you need to be calm in the storm. 
that you've been really angry lately. The, um, they're telling you the Empress is a signal of uh, starting over and letting go. I'm hearing that you're going to start to feel better in a month or two um, after the retrograde period is over. And I, I don't know if any of you um, listening to this um, are familiar with astrology or follow the way the planets move, but we're coming up on Mercury in retrograde, which starts on June 7th. Um, I'm not sure. It lasts for 21 days. I'm not sure exactly what day it ends. I'm not clear on that, but I know it starts on the 7th. I think it ends in the beginning of July, but um, it's interesting that they're saying to me that you're going to feel a lot better in a month or two. Well, you're definitely going to feel better after the retrograde passes. I hear that um, this is something that you've needed to do for a long time, that and I hate to use these words, but it's what I'm hearing, where people have actually kind of cursed you or beaten you down. I'm hearing that uh, this has maybe been an unusual time period for you in your life, where you really haven't felt like yourself. That there's going to be a great beginning and new doorways are going to start opening up for you. So that's positive, Sagittarius. That's uh, good news here after a time that sounds like maybe... Things have been rough for you for the past almost year. Um, the card that crowns the reading is Five of Wands. Five of Wands to me, when I look at that, that's like conflict, uh, struggles. Uh, a lot of times it's with with coworkers or work situations, but it really could be struggles with anything. It could be, you know, family, which kind of supports what the other card, what my spirit guides already said. There's going to be like a big gap, a big pause, like a big getaway, like where I almost feel like you're not going to be doing something for a while. Like either you leave your job and before you start your next job or your new career or your new business or whatever it is that you're going to moving forward on, that you're going to have this pause here where you're going to take a break, like a sabbatical. I'm hearing you're going to close the door on a lot of matters and walk away from some things. And I, they're bringing up money matters. So I feel like money matters um, are, it, that was like a low undercurrent. So um, for some of you, maybe it's bigger a bigger issue than others. But I am definitely getting that money matters have played into this a little bit. I hear that um, you're definitely ending this. Uh, you're not going to cover cover over the same old ground. I hear this has been a long time coming because this you've been anxious to get out of this situation. I'm also hearing that you want to have more continuity and stability in your life. So to, hearing that message to me makes me feel like you must not have been having that uh, for it to come up. You must, some of you probably have felt like things weren't really stable there for a little while. Um, the next card you have is the King of Wands. So here's another wand card. Uh, let me hear why King of Wands. King of Wands, uh, that's usually somebody that's talented. He's outgoing, sometimes connected to fire signs, which would be Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. <laughs> Sorry. Had a mind blank there. Um, it could be a man of, of a fire sign. It could be you yourself if you um, if you're a male listening to this. I'm hearing there's a lot of energy moving forward again. That's a repeat, and they're telling me you're being pushed. So uh, if you believe in spirit guides and the spirit world around you, I, I'm getting the message that they're the ones pushing you. Your spirit guides. I'm hearing an accent on punctuality and lessons learned. I'm hearing uh, that you've had a hard time coming to grips with some things. These things that you've had to that you have had to let go of, or you need to let go. I hear you're going to be talking to an advisor of some sort, a counselor, or somebody that's going to counsel you. And I'm hearing that this person is going to be brought into your life, and that it's a present or a gift. 
she has a great knowledge and intuition about uh, the way things work. I, I, I'm hearing his upbringing has been similar to yours. So, and, and that there's been some abrupt endings in his life uh, early on. So, I know this is, again, a general reading for all you Sagittarians out there, but whoever this person that comes in, he'll, his, whatever your upbringing was like, his is going to be similar to yours. And this is going to, he's going to confirm a lot of things for you, a lot of your own messages and feelings on things. The next card you have that comes up in the reading is Seven of Cups. Um, this would fall into the position of energy of right now and passing, but, um, you know, my spirit guides are just going to tell me whatever they want you to know. So, uh, but Seven of Cups is to me, choose wisely from your illusions, from the illusions being presented to you or that are surrounding you. So, uh, and cups are emotions. I hear that you're going to be making big changes. If you're working, um, if you're a working Sagittarius out there, that you're going to be changing careers or jobs. And I'm hearing placement and opportunity for expansion and growth. So whatever you're changing work-wise, too, uh, it's, it's, they use the word placement. Placement for an opportunity for expansion and growth. And I hear that this actually is going to create or has created, but I feel like it is creating a lot of havoc in your mind because you're unsure. You want to make sure before you make the next step. That's what I'm hearing because you don't want to repeat of some of the things that you've recently had to go through. Um, the next card that comes up in your reading Sagittarius for the month of June 2014 is the lover's card. So uh, that's kind of interesting. Lovers can mean um, some really uh, interesting options here. Uh, a lot of times it's soulmates. Uh, it's a soulmate relationship. It can mean uh, sex, um, having sex and, you know, romance and things like that in your life. But um, it's not always necessarily, I don't always find that this is an easy card. It's a, it's a good card in conjunction with some other cards, but by itself, it could mean, you know, soulmates we have struggles and learn lessons from. They're not always the most positive and easy experience. I'm hearing a bunch of things because, again, it's a general reading for Sagittarians. I'm hearing, like, a proposal, an engagement. Commitment, commitment issues also I heard could come up. Hold on. And I'm hearing you're going to be making a plan, a trip, a getaway. See, there's a repeat again about a pause or a break there in time, you know, from whatever you're ending to whatever you're going to. And I hear a lot of things are going to come very quickly to you. Uh, like in the month of August in particular, there's a lot of change. And, and they keep, re they repeated this twice. Things happen very fast. I'm hearing, like, setting a date, making plans. And I'm hearing uh, that you've been, if you've been having a hard time letting go of your old life or old relationships or old commitments to others, that now you're finally going to be able to do so. So that's good news. Um, the next card you have, you have another king in your deck. Um, here you have the king of cups. And the king of cups, he symbolizes emotions. You know, he's holding the cup uh, of, of emotion. So let's see, why king of cups? He's coming up for you in a, um, in a future position. Oh, wow. So some of you must have uh, been heartbroken out there because I'm hearing you're going to be given the opportunity to love again. This is a harmonious card, uh, they're telling me. He feels very regretful of his past, and he wants to make a new start. And I, I'm hearing he wants you to build a life with him. Now, if you're a male Sagittarius, and your preference is women, 
not men. Um, let me hear why, because this definitely comes up like in a romantic sense. If, if you're a man and your preference is woman, women, this is a father figure that's going to be coming in to give you advice. And if you're that situation, what I just said, uh, I feel that he'll be giving you some money or some financial assistance is coming up. Uh, there's a very good chance you're going to enter a new enterprise or a new business. If you longed to open up a place of some sort or some business, this is the opportunity for you to do so. This is going to facilitate that. Um, so, so that's, that's good. Um, you're not going to, it opens, the, the doorway gets open for you here. Um, the next card that comes up in your reading is uh, Three of Swords. And the Three of Swords, that can be emotional um, unhappiness, uh, like an ending, an ending of a relationship. Um, it can be an affair, somebody having, you know, there's three people, there's three, there's three swords in the heart here. Um, so, and you see the dark clouds around it. It's, uh, in tears. You're going against the grain. And I hear, like, you're surrounded by stubborn people. Like, either you're stuck, you know, like, there's been people I feel that have been, like, have been opposing you. Uh, giving you some opposition here. And uh, some of you have come up against angry partnerships. And this flowing into your life has just, it's just affected everything. I hear you're going to come into um, emotional balance and stability now. So you're going to be able to push that away. And it's going to be hard for some of you because I'm hearing some of you are going to want to linger with that. But don't be fooled by any promises they're telling me. Good message to remember. Because, you know, people can say a lot of things and lead you down a rosy path. And um, really be disappointing. So be careful. You're not going to have the same hindrances you had before. They're saying your life is, it has expanded now. It's expanding. Now you can really live. If you felt like you were stuck or you're not really, you weren't really living life to its fullest or enjoying your life, I'm hearing you, you're going to be able to do that now. So that's good. Um, the next card here is the devil. Now the devil to me usually symbolizes um, like addictions somebody that's addicted, this could be addicted to gambling, addicted to drinking, addicted to drugs. It could also be addicted to sex. Uh, there's two people in this card, so a lot of times this can be like a, a relationship addiction. First off the bat, they say you've been in a bad relationship and that you've come to blows with people emotionally. Everything happens for a reason, and they're actually talking about like you know, so it, it doesn't necessarily make you feel any better or to hear this, that, you know, this person or, or this situation, this relationship has come into your life to further your soul growth for karmic reasons to, you know, for you to learn from and teach you a, a, some kind of lesson for your soul's growth. I know that's not easy to hear and doesn't make it necessarily any better or more fun. <laughs> But it does come up here. Um, and I, I hear that you've come back again and come up over the same old ground, like around and around with this person or this relationship or situation. And it's, and, and it's been un unproductive and you're not, but there's a completion, they're saying. So this lesson cycle, relationship, experience, I feel like is is ended now. It's come to an end. Uh, the next card you have, which is your final card, Sagittarius, and I, I I don't. It's not one of my favorite cards, but you had some. You've had some really good cards in this reading, okay? But it's 
Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords to me is like being stuck in an emotional prison. Things are kept hidden from you or you feel like your hands are tied. You, you're kind of in limbo. You can't move forward. You can't go backward. But you're in the dark. In the dark. You don't have all the information uh, that you need to make decisions, and, and which is kind of contradictory because I do feel like you're moving forward. You're you're not going to be stuck in any relationship or any job you didn't like anymore. You're going to move forward. Um, things are going to change for you. You've been through your struggles. I feel like your karmic lesson is over. You're not the only sign I've heard that for. There's another sign I've done. One of the other uh, zodiac signs I did a psychic tarot reading for for the month of June got a very similar uh, thing where their lesson or reading where their lesson is learned and now they're done and they can move forward. Yours is similar, um, but I really feel like you've experienced a lot in in almost a year, ten months. Uh, you know, nine ten months has been uh, it's been a struggle. It's done. You're done. It, there's completion. Now it's time to unwind. You've had it with the scenarios from the past and the same old, same old, you know, cycle, cycling around experiences. They're telling me this is actually a card of telling you to stop the cycle in yourself. Like whatever things you've been running around in your own mind. So uh, that's good because it sounds like you have control over this. And they're saying you've ended something, now it's time to move on. So don't ruminate over the past. If you can help it, feel strong, move forward to your future. Uh, you've got good things coming, Sagittarius. And I'm glad to see that in this reading it seems like your, your tough times are over. And um, you need to take a, you're going to have to take a little mental, emotional, mental, spiritual, and physical break. Uh, it's not going to be hard. You'll be able to do it, and uh, you're going to feel better for the experiences that you've had. You've learned a lot, and uh, now it's time for you to enjoy your life. So I want to say thank you, Sid Sagittarius, for watching, and please tune in next month for your psychic tarot reading for your sign. And if you're interested in getting a private reading with me, uh, please go to my website listed below and you can schedule and purchase a reading. So I want to say thank you, many blessings, and peace.